Hello. <laughs> um, traveling Hoppy here, coming at you with a new vlog. And I'm pretty excited, as I generally always am, to check out a new spot in Long Beach, go figure, called Little Vice. So originally, Blended Coffee Mama told me about this amazing Mexican food restaurant. She was like, you have to try it, it's so good. Of course, this was pre-COVID-19. And um, it's a little bit further, like deeper into Long Beach, so I haven't yet made it out there. But it's been on my list of places to try because I love Mexican food. And I started following them on Instagram and they look like they have amazing mango micheladas and margaritas to go. So as I'm going back to Colorado here in like a week, uh, the time is limited, you know? We've got a little amount of time, so I was like, <laughs> I'm not leaving California without trying Little Vice. So, oh, and the best part. So they're Mexican food restaurant and they do meat, but they also offer vegan options. So they have a vegan carne asada, a vegan al pastor. I'm so excited to try these. Um, never seen vegan al pastor and you know, I used to love al pastor. So I'm pretty pumped. So we're gonna head over there. We're gonna put an order in, pick it up to go, bring it back to the house and uh, you know, see what, see what Little Vice is all about. Another cool thing um, for those of you in California, they have like a really extensive and awesome beer list. Um, I always see them posting, they get a ton of Colorado beers. I've seen them get um, Crooked Stave. I've seen them get Weldworks, um, Black Project. So that's super cool, super awesome because, um, you know, I don't know if like, I don't know if I see a lot of Mexican restaurants that offer really dope beer lists. So if I lived here, I'd probably be going there all the time, trying different beers. Um, but because it's like a one-time thing, I can't be passing up the michelada or margarita, something mango. So just food for thought. If you want to go there, ch check out their awesome beer list, but also check out their, their margs. I don't know. Um, yeah, let's just skedaddle and get an order. We're here. Um, welcome home, it says. Even though I've never been here, I'm excited to be home. I've got my mask and I am ready to pick up. We did a pretty good, uh, you know, pretty fairly large order. Um, went with the mango margarita because they don't have the michelada right now because I guess it's a mango beer. The guy said it was his favorite, so she's even more excited, you know, even more excited. So let's keep people safe and go get our stuff. Got it all safely secured in the trunk, and now time to drive home, enjoy some food. So let's do this. All right, look at this bounty. I got my two vegan tacos. It looks like that's the vegan al pastor, and that's the vegan carne, some beans and rice, mango margarita, chips and verde. It is a bounty of deliciousness. So let's go ahead and give it a try. First things first. Gotta have a sip of mango margarita. Ooh, that's good. Oh, that's refreshing. That's very refreshing. It's gonna go perfect with these tacos. And I got a whole thing to mix it. All right, so I already, of course, had tried a chip in this for a day. It's delicious. You can homemade, you can tell. Good heat. Good birthday, I have to say. All right, let's go for a taco. They both look a little messy, but uh, worth it. Then I'm gonna start with the vegan al pastor. All right, so of course you gotta put a little salsa on there. This is gonna be messy. 
messy. I think maybe white was the wrong choice of clothing, but we're just gonna go for it. I mean, they packed this thing. Look at the value for $4. This is a packed taco. That is such good flavor. It reminds me a lot about Pastor. Um, you get a little bit of the sweetness from the pineapple, a little bit of like those spices that you normally marinated in. So delicious. Like that exceeded all expectations. Because sometimes, you know, vegan imitations of things, they, are, they fall a little short. Not this. This is delicious. So let's go ahead and give this carne a try as well. It looks like there's this delicious slaw on there. Um, lots of cilantro, clearly I'm getting messy. All right, let's hope this carne is as good as the Al Pastor, because that Al Pastor is full. So, we got the vegan carne. Both of these are bomb, like hands down the best vegan Mexican I've ever had, like wow. Definitely, if you're plant-based, you've got to hit them up if you're in South Bay. Even if you're not, give it a try. Like, you know, maybe try something different. But both are amazing. I am, can't wait to grow. Oh my goodness. Where to start? Where to start? Well, first, let me say, that vegan carne and al pastor was amazing. And then, like, I don't know if you saw, those tacos were massive. Like, the two tacos with some rice and beans and a few chips, I literally will not be eating dinner. Like, that was my lunch and dinner. I'm so stuffed. But it was so good, you know? And so, oh, you gotta try a little vice. The, the, for the meat eaters, bomb for the vegans uh, it's got a cute little vibe you can go and drink margaritas there you can have some delicious food just brought right to your table pretty much just go enjoy yourself and enjoy some bomb food check them out thanks for coming and uh yeah more denver vlogs coming soon bye guys